Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I am going to discuss the question Iterative Post Order Traversal of a Binary Tree In my last video I talked about recursive version of post order traversal Today I am going to talk about the iterative version Let's recollect what post order traversal is Post order traversal is left, right and visit So what I am saying is before visiting a node or printing a node I will print everything on the left side I will print everything on the right side and then I will print the node and this will be true for every node. So let's start from here. This is the root of my tree. Before printing this one, I'll print everything on the left side, I'll print everything on the right side, and then I'll print one. So that's even true for minus one. And then my, we come to minus two. So first we print minus two. Now I go to minus one. Still I need to print the right side of minus one. So I go to minus three. Minus three doesn't have a left, but it does have a right. So it needs to print right first, so five. So now minus 3's left and right are printed, so then I can print minus 3. Now minus 1's left, minus 1's left and right is printed, so I can print minus 1. Now I go to 1, 1's right side is not yet done, so we go on the right side. So 11, 11's left is not done. So we print 11 for 21 first, then we print 6. Now everything on the left and right of 11 is printed, so we print 11. And finally, everything on the left and right of 1 is printed, so we print 1. So this is the post-order traversal of this tree. Uh, in the recursive version, uh, programs call stack takes care of most of the things, and the program is very simple. For the, for the iterative version, we'll have to use two stacks to solve this problem. Let's see how this works. I have stack 1 and stack 2. Again, stack is last in first out. So the element which goes last into the stack is the first to come out of the stack. So let's see. So I put one into the stack number one. Then I pop it out from the stack one. I pop one out of the stack one. I push into the stack two. And I check if one has a right, left, we put that into the stack one. If one has a right, we put that into the stack one. So minus one and 11. Now I pop 11 from the stack one, put that into stack two. I check if 11 has a left side, so I put that into the stack. If 11 is right side, I put that into the stack. Now I pop six from the stack one, push that into stack two. Six doesn't have left or right, so that's good. Now we go to again and pop from the stack 1 again. So we pop 21 out of stack 1, push that into stack 2. Again 21 doesn't have left or right, so that's great. So we again pop from the stack 1, minus 1. We push that into stack 2. Minus 1 has a left, so minus 2 goes into the stack. And minus 1 has a right, so minus 3 goes into the stack. Now we pop from the stack, so minus 3 is pop, stack 1, so minus 3 is popped out from here. Minus 3 doesn't have a left, it does have a right, so 5 goes into the stack. Now we pop out from this stack 1 again, push that into stack 2, and then uh, 5 doesn't have left or right. So we again pop out from the stack 1, minus 2, put that into stack 2, and minus 2 doesn't have left or right. So finally my stack 1 is empty, and my stack 2 is the one which has my final result. So if one, when I keep, I can keep popping stuff out from the stack 2 and print them as it is. So minus 2, 5, minus 3, minus 1, 21, 6, 11, and 1. This is my post-order traversal. How much time would it take to execute this algorithm, O of n? Because we are visiting every node once. How much space would this algorithm take, O of n? Because in stack 2, finally we will have all the elements. So, the, so stack 2 will hold all the elements. So the si size of the stack 2 will be O of n. So the worst case is O of n. Next, let's look at the code for this algorithm. So here is the code for post iterative post order traversal. So let's look at the structure of the code. The name of the function is iterative post order. It takes as parameter as the root of the binary tree and it returns nothing since we are printing out everything into the, in this function. If root is null, we just return, otherwise we initialize two stacks, push root into stack one, and then do this repetitively, 
While stack 1 is not empty, we pop from stack 1, push into stack 2. If roots left and roots right are not null, we push them into stack 1 and keep repeating the process. Once the stack 1 is empty, we just keep popping out, we just keeping, we just keep popping out data from stack 2 and just keep printing them out. Let's see how this works for this code. So my root is 1, root is not null, so I initialize two stacks, S1 and S2, and then push uh, root into S1. So one goes here. While stack one is not empty, stack one is not empty, root becomes s1.pop. So we pop from stack one and assign the value to root. So root becomes one and we pop it out from here. Uh, we push this value, we push root into s2. So s2 gets one. Roots left is not null, so minus 10 is not null. So we push that into stack one. Roots right is not null, so we push that into stack one. We go back to the top of the while loop. Here stack 1 is not empty, so we root becomes uh, top of the stack 1, which is 11. And uh, we push 11 into stack 2. Uh, 11's left is not null, so we push that into stack 1. 11's right is not null, so we push that into stack 1. So now, again, we go to the top of the while loop. Stack 1 is still not empty. So root becomes top of the stack 1, which is 16. We push 16 into stack 2, so stack 2 has 16. 16's left is null and 16's right is null. So we go back to the top of the while loop. Stack 1 is still not empty, so root becomes top of the stack 1, which is 13. And we pop it out from stack 1. We push 13 into stack 2. And then 13's left and right are null. So we again go back to the top of the while loop. We pop, uh, we pop the top of the stack one, assign that value to root. So uh, then we push this value into stack two. S 10 minus 10's left is null, but the right is not null. So we push that into stack one. We come here, we, again we come here, stack one is not empty. So we assign that value to uh, top of the stack one to root. We push this value into stack two. 5's left is null, but 5's right is not null, so we push that into stack 1. So again, going back here, stack 1 is not null, so we say root is equal to pop, S1 pop. So again, root becomes 3, stack 1 again becomes empty. Uh, S1, we push this value into uh, stack 2, and 3's left is null, and 3's right is null. So finally, stack 1 will be empty, so we don't, we break out of this while loop, we come here, so while stack 2 is not empty, we keep popping data out of stack 2, so 3, and keep printing them out, so 3, 5, minus 10, 13, 16, 11, and 1. This is my post order traversal for this tree. 3, 5, minus 10, 13, 16, 11, and 1. If you want the running code for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com, Mission Peace Interview Wiki. And if you want to check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user to 2525 Thanks for watching this video.